I will be recording some compression to tape using this Avalon compressor. However, I noticed some problems yesterday when recording some compression, that there was some level offset between the two multiple mono inputs. So the desk is in playback mode, in mic and fader swap, and the compression has been sent from channels 11 and 12 via an insertion send, going into the compressor and out of the compressor into line inputs 12 and 13. The levels to the compressor should always be the same, as there is no gain staging in this channel and playback mode, only the insert buttons are engaged. The problem only occurs when you are trimming the line inputs back into Pro Tools on a multi-track sense. The left and the right channel are not identical in the track, therefore the compression that is engaged on them will not be identical. So in this view on the meter it's very hard to tell whether the levels coming back are equal or not because they are not actually being compressed the same, therefore they will not show the same as the original here or after, so there is something we will have to do to calibrate this. To calibrate the compressor, all we have to do is go into Audio Suite, Other, Signal Generator. This way we can render a continuous sign output that has an equal left and right channel. This can be then referred into the compressor so we can gain stage an equal level output on the channel on the Neve desk. I have generated a master fader with Insight, a plugin by Isotope on, and this is what we're going to use to calibrate the levels properly. So here we can see already that there is a slight left weighting to the signal. To fix this, all we have to do is one of two things. Either reduce the gain on the left channel, or increase the gain on the right channel. In this case I will just increase the gain on the right channel to try and get this, this white line to line up with the green line here. In a normal track, the weighting from the center is always shifted left or right if you have a stereo track, but you should never use a track as a reference point as you can always get a bias of weighting to one side or the other. So you should always use a multiple mono continuous thing to reference your calibration for. 